Okay, good morning. <coughs> this is an old guitar that, um, that's been hanging around in my son's bedroom, gathering dust for the last year or so. This was actually my very first electric guitar from about, I think, 15 years ago. It's not a particularly good guitar, it's not particularly bad either. It's an old, uh, very cheap Fender knockoff called the Silver Tone. But I learned to play on it and it's, um, it's still cool. However, I've had an idea. Now, ideas are dangerous things because Sometimes they stick around and you do something with it. So the idea I have with this guy is I'm going to change the pickups. And I'm going to have one pickup that can move around inside a cavity. Now these different pickups have different uh, voices or tones depending on where they are on the string. Right, so bridge pickup, neck pickup and the in-between one. This bridge pickup is in fact slanted because it, uh, the way it's uh, oriented means it's picking up a bit more bright sounds from the, the high strings than from the bass strings and it gives it a bit more jangly sound. So not only do you have the, the place on the the strings, the location, but also the orientation of the pickup that affects the tone. So my idea is to actually have a little slot um, rooted out in some way that I can just move the pickup around to find a different tone. And since this is, since this is an uh, old guitar, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, about damaging it. In fact, it's looking pretty distressed already. Um, I will probably do something with a pick guard, extend it perhaps just to cover the, the new slots and I'm going to get rid of the pickup selector. I may or may not keep the tone knobs. I may or may not take off, I may or may not take off the neck. Um, we'll see. But first things are going to be just to remove the, the strings. And I'm going to be reusing them because this is a cheap guitar after all. But the strings are pretty good. These are flat wound chromes and they should still be okay. And I'm going to remove the pick guard and then we'll see, see what, what, what we're going to do next. That is the plan. Alright, so the, um, the tuning machines are off. I've also removed the uh, tremolo arm, which uh, is looking a little bit sad. It's taken some thread with it and it's a bit bent. So we'll see how that works out. Next up is the um, other knobs. <clears throat> take those off, take all the screws off and we should have the uh, pick guard off. Alright, let's get started with the screws. Okay, let's see what is below this pick guard. It's pretty much a big cavity. So that's pretty cool. Now the plan <coughs> is to take these things. These are uh, these are drawer uh, runners. 
slider extension slide runners for drawers. To put something like that in there below the pickup and be able to move it. That is the plan. Okay, so a slight change of plan. Um, this is going to go into the cavity. And this is going to attach to the pickup, which will look a bit neater. And uh, also, I don't really have any place to screw things down on this side without interfering with the, uh, with the bearings. Whereas this one has these very convenient spots that are uh, kind of meant for screws sticking out. So definitely this side goes there. At this point we have a, uh, a cavity that's been rooted out of the body with the, uh, with the track now mounted and the pickup mounted on the track and it can swivel and it can move. Start to grease that a bit but it can move and it won't just move by itself. Right, so we can go full scale, I think most of the way, both ways. Right. Um, that is more or less the correct height for the for the strings and the fretboard. I don't know if we can see that. So, uh, uh, something like that. Anyway, don't know word for it. It is more or less the right height. But the height is adjustable, so that's also cool. On the back, I still have to... Um, I still have to finish this off, sand it down. Um, I'm going to fill in... It uh, looks like we've punched through this side. Wow, that's close. That is where the screw is coming through. Right, I mean, that's... 
that's really <laughs> as close as you can get without protruding. Anyway, so um, I'm going to finish this off nicely. Uh, there's going to be no more tremolo or vibrato, whatever you want to call it, arm. Um, we don't need that where we are going. I'm probably going to sand off the entire body, do a, uh, a bit of a spray paint, just do a black uh, hammered finish on this. And then the same thing will happen. The same thing will happen hopefully on the uh, on the pick guard. I'm going to actually make this black as well. Um, I still have to finalize this cut out over here. And then the wiring, which is going to be very simple, just uh, two wires from there to the pot, to the jack. Could I find some way of keeping the wires nice and tidy? Haven't figured that bit out yet, but all in all, at this point, um, I'm quite happy. It's going somewhere. Yeah. Onwards and upwards.